In this Excel file, I have cell B3, which reads, this is some really long text and we need to auto fit the column. And then B5 is actually just a big number, but since the column width is too narrow, you see a bunch of hashtags instead. So method one for using keyboard shortcuts to auto fit this column is using the F6 key to access the ribbon menu. Now this is probably the worst method, but I'll show you what it looks like. Once you press F6 um, in Excel, I'm pressing F6 now a few times, and notice that the this green highlight starts moving around the top left of your Excel file, and it goes from the Quick Access Toolbar to the Home tab, and then to like the like Active Cell box. So once you're pressing F6, and if you also don't have function keys turned on in your Mac settings, you might have to press function key, like in the bottom left of your, your keyboard, then F6. So I'm pressing F6 until that green highlight gets over the Home tab right here. And then I can press space bar to actually open up the Home tab. And from here, my goal is to get to this format button, which then has this auto fit column width option. But how do I actually go from the home tab all the way to here. So the key here is you have to press the tab key like a million times, well not a million, but like many times. You notice that as I press the tab key a bunch of times, it cycles through every single option on the home tab until I get to format, I then stop. I can then press space bar and then use my arrow keys a few times to click on to get to auto, auto fit column width, hit enter. And then they'll auto fit, expand the column B to fit. This is some really long text and we need to auto fit the column. I'm gonna undo that. This, this is definitely the worst method because you have to hit the tab key a bunch of times. And if you happen to press the tab key too many times by accident, let's say I'm right here and I press tab key. Like if I pull down tab and I go through all these options, I happen to overshoot the format menu. There's, I can now press shift tab to go backwards, but it will be nice if you could actually start hitting shift tab right when you get into the home screen here, because then you can start from the end of the ribbon instead of the beginning of the ribbon. So definitely not the most ideal solution, but it's one way of getting to the column auto fit, auto fit column width option. Also F6 is a great way to learn how to use the ribbon too. You can use press F6 and then move through all the different ribbon options by using your arrow keys. So that's method one, the worst option in my mind. Option two is using the control, control plus the F2 key. Actually, I want to just type, write this down. So option one is, option one is F6 key, function F6 key. Option two, is the control plus function two key. So what does that mean? The function two key allows you to open up the toolbar up here, which is different from the ribbon down here. It's super confusing that there's a ribbon plus toolbar because a lot of the options and settings are duplicated and you never know which kind of settings to go to or which toolbar to go to. But the toolbar is everything here and there's a toolbar for every single application on the Mac. But if I press function two key, notice what happens when I press function of control F2. Notice what happens to this little, to the, the Mac icon, the Apple icon in the top left. When I press control F2, this little gray outline goes over the Apple icon. And it's as if I was highlighting my cursor over the Apple icon. So if I press control F2, the Apple icon is now highlighted, I can now press the arrow key a few times to cycle through the different options in the toolbar. And once I get to format, I can press spacebar, then press the down arrow key to a few times to get to column, then right arrow key one time, and then down arrow key to auto fit selection. And that's basically another way to get to the auto fit column width by using the toolbar or using the menus basically. You can also press control F2 start typing the word FO for format, and then hit space bar, then down arrow, column, then down arrow, auto fit selection. Not a terrible shortcut because it's like maybe six, seven, eight keystrokes, and you can do them pretty fast because you're just using the arrow keys and the space bar. 
but also not ideal because you have to go through the ribbon and it's like kind of hard to see that gray highlighting in the top left. And um, again, not my I, most ideal solution. Now the third option, method three, this is where things can get really interesting, is using the app shortcut settings in your overall Mac OS keyboard settings. So what does that look like? If you click on the Apple icon, then click on system preferences, you're gonna get this uh, system preferences menu, which you've probably seen before. Click on keyboard and then click on shortcuts. And you'll notice like in the, th in the left-hand side here, there's a bunch of different options. Click on app shortcut. And this is basically a way you can specify an application specific keyboard shortcut in your Mac OS settings. So we're gonna set one for Excel. So if I click on this plus icon here, I'm gonna select my Microsoft Excel from this list right here. And let's call it, and this is the menu title. This is where things get a little tricky. You have to type the exact name of the setting in Excel that you want to add a keyboard shortcut to. So in this case, the setting is actually called auto fit selection. And it's also case sensitive too. And I really wish there was an autofill here, but this is like, it would be kind of impossible for Mac to like show every single option here. So I'm just gonna write auto fit selection in the menu title. This has to be perfectly spelled out, case sensitive. And then let's say for the keyboard shortcut, I want to use the keyboard shortcut um, shift command um, U for some reason. So shift command U, that is the keyboard shortcut that's gonna be applied to the auto fit selection menu in Microsoft Excel. Hit add, close out of this. And now if I go back into Excel, if I click on, if I use this new keyboard shortcut I defined in my Mac OS settings, I can press shift command U and it automatically expands the column width. This is already pretty good. This is probably better than what you can get from the first two methods. And you can just stop here and kind of move on with your life because having one simple shortcut to do column widths is really awesome. Now the key thing here is this only applies to column widths. If you want to apply the, um, if you want to expand the row height for a different uh, keyboard shortcut, you'd have to use auto fit row height. And the way you can do that, I think it's also system preferences to go back to the um, keyboard shortcuts. I think it's also, if I, type in, if I type in auto fit like that, I think it would just use the height. Anyways, I'm gonna remove this for now because I actually wanna go through this, the fourth method, which is my preferred method, which is going through the tools customized keyboard settings menu. The reason why I like this menu is because it's kind of like Excel's native keyboard shortcut, custom keyboard shortcut settings. It's not going through your general Mac OS settings. With Mac OS settings, you have a huge list of shortcuts and they apply to different applications. This is Mac specific, or sorry, Excel specific. So you're not kind of conflating this with like your general Mac OS settings. Cause anytime you adjust your Mac OS settings, I'm always afraid you're gonna be changing shortcuts for like a bunch of other applications. Um, I do this just to be safe. So if you recall, the auto fit column width option is on the home tab. And if you start clicking, if you click on the home tab here in the customized keyboard settings, then in command, start typing in auto fit. And the first thing is that, well, the great thing about this native settings is that you'll get auto fill. So you don't have to type out the full name of the, um, the option. And again, this is really important because if you are applying a bunch of shortcuts in the Mac OS settings, you have to memorize, or not memorize, but you have to like get the exact name of the operation in Excel and type that out in the Mac OS settings with the customized keyboard settings in Excel, you can just autofill, it'll automatically autofill with the setting. So I want to apply a shortcut for auto fit selection. And I actually already have a shortcut, I'll just delete this one for now. I click on auto fit selection, click on press new keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut I like to use is shift plus command plus A. The reason I do that is because A, I like to remember, is for auto fit. So shift command A. And once you do that, you click, click on add. And now shift command sh plus shift plus A ends up being one of the keys you can use for auto fit selection. 
Auto fit right here is for row height. So you can apply a separate shortcut for that. I don't really use auto fit row height that much in my files. That's why I don't have a keyboard shortcut, but I could use one if I wanted to. And this actually does not match up exactly with what's written on the home tab because I'm just gonna hit okay for now. On the home tab, the actual setting is called auto fit column width. So it's just kind of like a inconsistency with how Excel names the setting. But now that I have this keyboard shortcut, shift command A, I can press uh, shift command, I can select this whole column, press shift command A, and there you have it. I can expand the column width by using a simple shortcut. So